Another of the features that we've been working on is giving support for write operations. So we started giving support for post operations in the content entities. So uh, if you go and list to get request to the article resource, you will get the list of all of the articles. And you can see that right now we only have one single article, which is the ID, the node ID one. So if we want to create another article, we, we need to do a post. And uh, as usual for a post, you need to send a body. In this case, we're going to send um, a JSON API format. And I went ahead and created that offline. But you can see that this is very similar of what you get when you do a GET request. You get ta the except for the type. Um, uh, sorry, set for the ID because you haven't created the ID yet, but it's the attributes and it's the relationships. Sorry, it's the relationships. So I added the attributes, the title, and body of this article, and then some relationships. As I added three tags and uh, the category for this article. So um, this is what. I I gave for the body, but <coughs> for in in order to do the, these write operations, we need to support authentication. So one other feature that we did is supporting the authentication providers for the different routes. Um, the the option that we took is we allow any authentication provider to be available for every route with using JSON API in order to simplify the configuration options that you have when dealing with this instead of uh, having to provide or to configure the every entity type and operation give the authentication provider, uh, you get them across the board. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna select this basic auth authentication. I'm gonna give it my username and password and I'm gonna click here, update the request. Uh, if you don't have this kind of client, don't worry. The only thing that it does is it creates this authoriz authorization header with the uh, base64 encoded user and password. Uh, you can see that I'm also uh, specifying that the data that I'm sending in the body, in the body field is encoded as uh, API JSON, JSON API, sorry. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and send this and it responds with uh, success and uh, it gives me that the node 11 was created and if I go here to my side, my demo side, you can see that my demo post is there, that you have the three DAGs, if I click here you can see that it was created by the authenticated user, which is admin and a category of sports. So uh, yeah, that's basically it. You can create um, you can create entities uh, using the JSON API format.